Hi, I'm Andy Glass with WorkshopAddict.com. Today we have something a little bit different. In front of me I have DeWalt's 40 inch roller cabinet, model number DWMT74434, and then the 40 inch top chest, model number DWMT74433. Now we've done reviews on these in the past and we'll put a link in the corner, but what I want to do today is to show you how I have them set up as a dedicated professional woodworker and show you how these can be applied to various applications, um, but specifically for woodwork as you typically see these kind of storage units in garage shops, automotive centers, things like that. But they are perfect woodworking storage uh, solutions here in the shop. So let me bring you in for a closer look. We'll start at the top and then we'll go down drawer by drawer. In the top open hatch here, I put items that I use multiple times per day. Something that's quick and easy to grab. I don't have to open a drawer to grab it, just being how frequently I use them. To start out, on the far right hand side, they have a power strip here, four traditional AC outlets, and then two USB outlets. So I have my battery chargers for my various cordless power tools, then I also typically plug in a phone charger to those USBs, um, which is nice having the phone up here and knowing exactly where it is every time you hear a ding or a, your phone rings. In the middle, I keep my uh, drill driver and impact driver, the Makita Subcompact. These are one of my favorite uh, drill drivers and impact driver combo. They're so small, but yet they have the power of an 18 volt uh, kit or battery platform. On the far left hand side, I have FastCap's KISS drill bit system. This allows me to identify the drill bits that I have on hand. I can grab one, slap it in the Makita drill driver, and go. When I bring it back, it's up on top, it's right here, it's ready to go. Next, as I'm a woodworker, we do glue ups. I have FastCap's glue bot. This sits up here on top, so whenever I'm gluing things up, I have it ready to go. Um, one thing I use a ton, a ton, ton, ton in the shop is uh, FastCaps 2P10 uh, Sinoacrylate glue system. Uh, here I have the thick adhesive and then their activator inside their nice little green caddy. Uh, I use that all the time. So I simply put it up here, I can grab it, I can bring it to the bench, and boom, we're ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into the drawers of the top chest and then we'll uh, sneak a little bit lower into the roller chest. Starting out on the top left, I have my little bit fine woodworking items here in these skinnier drawers and as you can see I have some Kaizen foam that all these specific tools are embedded in. Now I haven't uh, fully outfitted this drawer yet because I'm trying to be very selective of what I put in these um, so I don't just fill it up just for the fact of filling it up. I'm trying to be strategic about utilizing this cabinet as efficiently as possible. If we go one drawer below I have all the templates and circle jigs, uh, French curves, uh, right triangles, protractors, things like that over here that I use very, very frequently. Having them all clustered together, I can simply grab the whole stack, sort through whatever I want at the bench, and be gone. Over here I have some staple guns and uh, a kind of a ham hammer stapler. I don't use these frequently, but these nice skinny drawers are a perfect storage solution um, right here. Shifting gears to the top right drawer, I have my Stanley Bailey chisel set here. Now this is one of my nicer chisel sets that I have. I have them cut into Kaizen foam. These things are sharpened on the Tormac T8 water-cooled sharpener. They are absolutely razor sharp. They're protected in the Kaizen foam. In uh, the DeWalt's nice skinny drawers up here, it's just perfect storage solution for these type of chisels. In the drawer below, I have uh, another set of chisels. These are my cheaper set of chisels. A little bit lower quality, a little bit less quality steel. So I kind of use them for a little bit more roughing work uh, rather than the fine woodworking stuff. On both drawers, the base or the right front of the drawer has room for expansion if I want to put uh, additional chisels or um, other uh, woodworking items. In the larger full width drawer here on underneath in the top roller cabinet, I have uh, various drill drivers, impact drivers, some sawzall, some lights, and then uh, some traditional uh, mallets and hammers for my chisels. Also a Ryobi 18-volt uh, uh, hot glue gun. These things get used very, very frequently. If I'm on a large glue up or a large assembly job, I will pull out multiple drill drivers, multiple equipment, and I'll put them up on top here with varying different bits so I don't have to switch uh, 
bits or drill bits during a project. I can simply grab the right tool for the right uh, task at hand and it saves me a ton, a ton of time. With this full width drawer, I'm allowed to put longer items such as the cobalt reciprocating saw in here um, and I, I have all these uh, like-minded tools in one drawer. So I really like this drawer here in the top chest. Let's go ahead and look at the lower roller chest. Starting on the very top drawer, it's a full width drawer, just like the, the last drawer we did. And up here I have all my assembling and finishing items for cabinetry. So I have right angle jigs, uh, the clamp it uh, from Rockler. I have some three way face clamps. I have some hardware installation guides, uh, drawer slide uh, installation jigs, and things like that. So this drawer it basically gets opened up when I'm assembling a cabinet. Um, and then also attaching some hardware so I can simply uh, identify what I need, grab it, and ready to go. Um, this full width drawer, just like uh, where I put the other drill drivers and things, um, all these tools are like-minded tools uh, and accessories for a kind of particular application in the shop, so it's nice to be able to put all those tools together. As a woodworker, we use uh, sockets and wrenches and kind of mechanic style tools a lot, or at least I do. Especially when I get a new tool or mainta maintaining a tool, um, you just have to have good solid uh, socket sets, wrenches, and things like that. And uh, I have a cobalt set here that came in a nice carrying case, but I put it on the floor next to the drill press. It was cumbersome to get to, it was cumbersome to identify things. So I basically took out the trays that they had in that storage unit, I put them in this drawer, and then on the left hand side I put uh, some Kaizen foam with uh, uh, various accessories and wrenches and things like that um, for these uh, top left three drawers. In the middle here, additional sockets, some deep sockets. I have some wrenches that came in the set along with um, some sockets for uh, the drills and then a hand screwdriver. In the third drawer I have a miscellaneous drawer that has some various random size wrenches and uh, spark plug sockets and things like that. Uh, these I don't use a whole bunch, but on the left hand side I have some room for additional storage, maybe additional Kaizen foam in the future um, that could uh, be related to the socket and wrenches or uh, completely different here. Moving to the right side of the column, I have uh, my rasp and files in the top right drawer. Now there is a bed of Kaizen foam in here, but these are not cut in yet as I am planning on turning all custom handles for these. Uh, this is the first one I turned. I'm not 100% uh, sold on the design yet, so that's why I'm holding off on cutting them in. But just like the chisels, I open the drawer, I can identify exactly what I'm looking at, I can grab it, and then with the Kaizen foam, when I come back, I know exactly where it needs to go. In the little bit deeper drawer above the files and rasp, I have my hand planes. Now, in here I only have three planes. I have a couple more planes that are actually being restored right now. I have my Stanley block plane. I have my grandpa's wooden coffin plane. I'll have this set for kind of chamfer work and lighter edge work. And then I have a uh, large number five, uh, this is a Buck Bros kind of off, off brand plane. Um, I've sharpened all the irons here on the Tormek water cooled sharpener. They're all razor sharp. And this uh, deeper drawer here in the lower tool chest is perfect for hand planes uh, as it accommodates the uh, little bit deeper items, especially like this coffin plane that has a pretty deep profile. In addition to the planes, I have a uh, tin can here with a shop towel uh, soaked in some uh, oil. This is a tip I got from Paul Sellers. You take uh, the can, the rag, you set it on your bench every time you grab a plane, and then uh, maybe every 20 strokes or so, or whenever the resistance gets more and more, you take your plane and you run it in reverse overneath or over the um, rag with the oil on there, and it will lubricate your plane and uh, decrease the friction when you are planing. Super handy. In the lower right hand drawer here, I have my two cordless jigsaws. Now the far left one is the Bosch 12 volt jigsaw and the far right one is the 18 volt cordless jigsaw. Uh, on the back of these, I have uh, various blades and storage items back there. And then on the front, I have a scrap piece of Kaizen foam with a couple pockets in there 
for loose blades or things that uh, I use frequently. Now these two, as you can see, are sitting upright in this very deep drawer and they're sitting on a platform that allows me to keep the blades installed. So there's a little slit in the platform, place that blade in that slit and it allows me to keep the um, two jigsaws upright and ready to go. So every time I need them, I can open them up, I can grab them straight out, I can keep the blade in, and then especially when I put it back, I can put it right back in place and close it. Super, super time saver and a lot safer and less damaging on your tools and blades. In the lower left deep drawer here, it's 12 inches deep. I have various other power tools in here, uh, including a, a corded uh, skill saw or circular saw. I have a cordless uh, DeWalt hand planer, cordless uh, cobalt circular saw, and then a cordless um, a rigid uh, shop light or um, a light system, which is really nice to have, especially during uh, cabinet assemblies. I'll put a battery in there, throw it inside the cabinet, boom, it lights everything up. Now these two drawers here on the bottom are both 12 inches deep and have a uh, 200 pound capacity for each drawer. So I am by no means overloading these drawers, but it's really great to have uh, larger power tools and things like that that uh, typically don't fit in your other um, skinnier drawers here. On the exterior of my DeWalt roller tool cabinet and uh, chest here, I have located my Woodpecker's Precision Framing Squares. Now these uh, beautiful framing squares come in a MDF uh, molded cutout, CNC cutout storage. I had to rip a little bit of thickness off to accommodate the, the depth of the roller cabinet. And then I simply uh, put some um, very high quality double sided tape and then drove uh, four screws uh, in the corners here to hold it in place. But this is a really great location to utilize flat storage like this, especially when it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to pull things out and get them right back in position. Um, the opposite side, I don't have anything stored due to the handle yet, but uh, certainly will be um, storing some items here. Additionally, you could put Kaizen foam panels on here and put uh, storage in those Kaizen foams just like I have on my wall on the cabinets uh, in my shop here. Well, what'd you guys think? Um, I've turned this DeWalt storage unit into a dedicated woodworking um, tools and storage. Uh, again, I did have some uh, sockets and wrenches in there. Um, that is such great storage in there for those particular types of tools. It's tough to get away from, um, but woodworkers, we use those types of tools often as well. So uh, with that being said, great location. Let me know below what you guys think, uh, what you guys would do differently, what do you guys like, what don't you guys like. Um, I really enjoy putting some storage here on the side. That's probably one of my favorite things, and I've got a whole lot more ideas here. So uh, we encourage you to follow us on social media for those kind of types of updates that really don't warrant a, a additional second video here on YouTube. Uh, but if you do follow us on social media, you can certainly follow along there. I'm Andy Glass with Workshop Addict. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.